10 year anniversary. So we did kind of want to return to our roots a little bit and make it more of a march. Um, it does, you know, it does line up a little bit with things that are going on in the, in the, in the world right now. And so it is, it's kind of nice to go back to being, you know, all of us nice together and uh, walking together. And it just, it felt really good to kind of get back to, get back to our roots. We are here uh, walking in support of Barry Pride and uh, the Pride Parade. Uh, very much part of our community and we're super excited to be here. Uh, I noticed that there's less floats, but we're all walking this year, so uh, I will tell you that I'm a, more of a fan of a float because then I get to dance to the music, but it is what it is. We have Equity, Diversity and Inclusion Committee, and that's part and parcel of uh, the Barry Police, but um, it, it's woven throughout our, uh, our organization. It's with our own people, um, but uh, just to internally as well as externally uh, represent our community. So uh, we have a contingent here from that committee, uh, as well as a number of the leadership, but just regular officers as well, because uh, we're all part of the community. It was really good. I was really scared and like a little nervous. I thought there'd be a lot more hate, but really there's just the one guy and everyone's hating on him. Yeah. And there were so many people cheering us on. We got to go through the parade. It was really amazing. Yeah, it was great. It yeah, was really it was fun. Great. I think I was expecting it, honestly, to be a little less. Like, I thought there wouldn't be as many people kind of scared coming here. And then seeing how many people came from, like, gay stormtroopers to the GO train, it was honestly bizarre. Even gay policemen, like, yeah. that was crazy. Every year it just gets bigger and bigger, yeah. so it's really, like, exciting to see it. Yeah. So, when I came out, I was really afraid that my parents would kick me out of the house. Um, just because they are very religious, um, they didn't. They're not fully supportive, but they basically were like, you're an adult, you make your own mistakes, you make your own choices, and that's as good as you can get, right? So, yeah. Um, coming out, I wasn't really scared. I knew my parents were supportive, but it just, the idea of revealing something you've known since you were four years old when you're 18 is really scary because you've held it in for yeah. so long. So, you know, it just, a nerve-wracking thing, whatever the reason is. Yeah. But yeah, I've had, whether it's like kids I thought I was friends with at school. A lot of it, when you're at school, you experience things at school. I've had people yeah. say really awful things, and I'm the kind of person who, like, not fights with them, but I'll argue with them, and I've definitely, you know, stood up to other people. And I think it's really important when you're in, like, a group situation, you tend to think someone else is going to stand up for you, but you sometimes have to stand up for yourself. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Vox is a church that's come out of the evangelical world and is uh, fully affirming and fully inclusive. Um, we've also been involved for uh, more than 12 years with uh, getting Redwood Park communities going and supporting the amazing work they do, uh, assisting our homeless neighbors. Um, it's really important to me. I'm a, I'm a queer pastor. I was um, one of the first folks in the stream that I was in uh, to come out as queer and then get ordained. Um, and so it's been really important to me to highlight both um, the fact that I am part of the community, but also that our community is affirming and inclusive. It's a, it's a really big deal still in a lot of churches today to know that uh, your pastor is is not just safe, but is part of the community, so. Hey everyone, Shelly here with Uplift Black, president and founder. Uh, so excited to be here for the 2023 Berry Pride Festival. Uh, we've had the parade earlier and we're still continuing with uh, more um, events and more, sorry, not events, more artists and stuff coming in to the stage. So today, what I really want to focus on is having a conversation about the importance of inclusivity and the fact that not everybody is experiencing pride the same. We understand that the trans community is under an incredible amount of attack, not just in the U.S., but here in Canada. Nationwide, we are seeing protests against pride flag raisings, against drag story times happening in schools and in libraries. And the truth is our youth need the visibility and they, know, they need to know that they can show up and be their most authentic self because saving, uh, showing up and creating visibility is actually saving lives. And so we're going to encourage everybody this Pride and 365 to step into their place of influence and do the damn work, you know, like, you know, figure out how you can be part of different uh, Pride uh, celebrations, create your own, uh, you know, so that we can create more opportunities for the people who are part of the LGBTQIA plus community to uh, show up and have a space that they belong, that's safe and that uh, caters to their needs and the cultural experience that comes with being part of the 2 community. 
Berry Pride would really like to give a huge shout out to some of our sponsors that made this possible today. TV Bank, you have been invaluable. Multitech Audiovisual has some incredible stuff going on down at the stage at the festival and more to come tonight. And um, I'd also like to thank EZ Security for coming out and helping keep us so safe and with the road closures. Thank you so much for everybody who came out today to Pride. I was so happy to see you all. Have a lovely Pride season and um, yeah.